Watch you guys got another video on how to clear all of the router activity history. Now, if you've got a third party router and you want to clear all of the logs and history of your uh, activity on that router, then this is how you can do it. Now, default ISP routers might not give you this feature, so always check inside your router menu to see if it's available. Open up start button, type CMD and run this as administrator. This will open up the command prompt as administrator and type ipconfig. Some people were concerned that this will break your PC. This doesn't break your PC. This is just a command that you're telling it to give up your IP configuration. And you can see right here, your ethernet adapter is this is the IP address. Now, some routers may be locked down and they may have a certain password on them. Some of these details are given to you by your ISP. Some of them are located on the bottom of the router. So make sure you've got your IP and you make sure you've got your password to enter that menu system. If it's locked down, then you're not going to be able to do it. But most people can get into their menu system. Once you know your IP, you can type that up the top of your browser like so. Press enter and it will ask you for a password to gain access to your router menu. From here, just type in your password. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one right here. If it has a default password on your router, it's always a good idea to change that to a much more secure password. Once you're inside of your menu system, what you can do here is look for the advanced tab. Now, all menu systems are going to be different from router to router, and you just want to go to your advanced settings here and try and find the system uh, settings. So I'm going to click on advanced for this TP link right here. And what we're going to do is come down and we're going to look for system inside here. Once we click on system, it's going to give us the system logs for this particular router. This will give you all of the logs for your activity on that router. So on the log type, you'll be able to see it set to all. There's logs for the firewall, the NAT, dynamic DNS, UPnP, DHCP server, IPTV. You've also got the domain login, the basic security, traffic statistics. Also, you've got your local management, remote management, and loads of other stuff inside here. These will have all of the log files. You can download these or have them mailed to your email address, and you'll be able to view all of these here. So on here, you will see your time settings and everything else in there. If you want to clear them all, set it to all and then basically clear them and it will clear them all out. Uh, or you can send a copy to yourself or save them if you want to save them before you delete them. But every now and again, it's always good to clear these out. Uh, just in case you have any issues with your uh, router, you will be able to see any sort of new logs coming up. It will be much more easier to detect any issues that you might have. You can see we've cleared all of these now. They're all gone. And uh, that's how you would just basically clear all of the router activity history on that router. Now, some routers might not have this sort of setup and they might not have system logs like these. Uh, but if you do, you'll be able to clear them. Uh, some routers might be locked down from your ISP. And you might not be able to gain access to that particular area. But that's basically how you can clear all of the router activity. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server. Links in the video description. Bye for now.